Hello beloved and welcome to your reading. We're going to be seeing what messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. We're going to be using our tarot cards and our oracle cards to deliver the messages that are here for you. As I'm getting your cards for you, I want to remind you that I do candle ceremony services on a full moon, on a new moon, as well as do cord cutting ceremonies, return to sender and remove bad luck. So if you are wanting to see all the types of different candle ceremonies and candle magic that I do, everything you're going to need to know is in the description box below. Especially I would recommend to check out the, the moon ceremonies as it is a powerful time to really ground your energy and to welcome in and to also plant new seeds for the next coming month. So I have your cards on the table. Let's have a look to see what is currently going on. If you could invite your intuition to be available as I'm doing these readings, your intuition will elaborate on the messages that you are receiving so that this becomes more like a powerful personal reading. So from what I can see, the divine is saying to you that it is time to open up, to remove the mask, and to allow yourself to tell the truth. What is going on deep within you? If truth be told, what will your truth sound like? Because there is an energy of chaos. There is an energy of arguments and fights. This is how you feel if you were to tell the truth. But the divine is saying that by not telling the truth, but by remaining silent, you are actually causing yourself more harm. So it is time to embrace that energy and to say whatever it is that you're feeling. Honoring yourself and honoring your truth. Because by remaining silent, the divine is wanting to bring to your attention that you are betraying yourself. So it is time to tell the truth. No matter who doesn't like it, at least they know where you stand. The divine is wanting to emphasize that your truth, telling the, your truth and standing by your truth is going to bring you that sense of relief. There is a sense of feeling happy. There is a sense of feeling reinvigorated because finally, you have allowed yourself to let whatever is weighing heavy on your heart, on your chest, you have let that go. And the divine is saying that you're going to be feeling light. There's a sense of joy. There's a sense of liberation. Because finally, deep down in your subconscious mind, there's a feeling of feeling joyous. Because finally, you are standing up for yourself. The divine is saying that for some of you, you're being encouraged to read some books, some self-help books. There is just this feeling and calling that some of you already understand that reading is going to expand your wisdom, your knowledge, your mind. Some of you could be taking an online course. Some of you are going back to school. But whatever is happening, the divine is saying that your success is going to come by doing things by the book, by taking step by step by step. Do not rush this process because there's a process that is here that is again speaking of the energy of joy and happiness. If you take things slowly, you will be the star of the show. There's a deep joy that is coming in from just taking your time. So whatever is happening right now, the divine is saying that you are being invited to step into the energy of our major arcana card of the temperance card. The temperance card brings in an energy of feeling balanced and centered despite what is going on. Remember we opened up this reading with our card that was saying, if truth be told, what will your truth sound like? And I told you that for some of you, there is just that feeling of chaos, arguments and fights. And because of this, 
you're remaining silent. But the divine again is encouraging you to speak your truth, to operate from your heart center and to release whatever needs to be released. Because finally you're realizing that if you hold on to things for too long, they will make you feel sick. So whatever is happening, the divine is saying that there's a sense of balance, balancing whatever it is that you need to say, balancing how you deliver your truth and understanding the importance of always standing up for yourself instead of remaining silent. Some of you, this is an area to do with your work, with money. So you are being called to speak your truth about your financial situation or to look at your financial situation and to start speaking truth to yourself. The two of coins is bringing about the energy of budgeting the two of coins is bringing in that energy of understanding that it is important to remain again balanced around the choices that you're making around your money. For some of you, your truth is to do with speaking your truth at work. Maybe there is something that has been going on for quite some time that has made you feel like you're being taken advantage of or someone has been bullying you or spreading gossip and rumors about you and now it is time to go and speak about how you feel and you're just going to feel that a weight has been lifted off your shoulders so there is just something that is going on connected to your money and truth the next card we have is the energies of the six of coins the energies of the six of coins always speaks about charity giving again this is a give and take kind of energy that is on the cards and again you are being reminded to remain centered and balanced and seeing where you are giving too much and where you are filling other people's cups and seeing that your cup is running empty and not saying anything about that. There is a two-faced type of energy that is here. So this is where I was sensing that energy of chaos and conflict because for some of you, you can see the truth where someone is trying to deceive you, but you're feeling like you can't say anything about this two-faced type of person because you feel that this is going to cause some arguments. Maybe this two-faced type of person is your sibling. They are your family's favorite child and you feel silenced because you understand that by saying something, by speaking the truth about this person, everyone is going to turn against you. But the divine is again saying that you have been holding a lot in your heart, on your chest, and it is time to put some sorrows, some burdens down. The divine also is wanting you to understand that there is always this feeling that the chosen ones always suffer the most. And I feel that you feel this deeply I feel that for some of you, you always feel like you are the black sheep of the family. You are the one who is always feeling like an outcast in different settings and situations in society. And the divine is saying that's okay. Because for you, there is growth. There is a lot of information. You are the chosen one. And all these types of different situations where you feel taken advantage of, where you feel like you're the black sheep of the family, this is in fact going to be a situation. This is in fact going to be something that you're going to use to stand on in the future. So whatever is currently happening, you are removing the mask of not speaking your truth. You're revealing what you feel on the inside and then later on, you're using your wisdom, you're using your life experience to help and assist other people. I can see that some of you are inspirational teachers. Some of you are going to be coaches, maybe even writing a book. There is just a sense of sharing all the knowledge and the wisdom that you've gathered because the divine is wanting you to remember that you are the chosen one and everything that you've experienced has been for a purpose, has been for a reason. The divine is saying that right now, 
there's a magnetic type of energy around you where you can use all your disappointments and your sorrow to build an amazing future for yourself. So the divine is saying to you to start focusing on where you want to go instead of focusing on the sorrow, on the disappointment, on whatever it is that you have been carrying heavy on your chest for quite some time. As you leave these burdens down, you're going to be seeing that you're starting to focus on where you want to go, on who you want to be, and you are going to be building something beautiful from the past experiences that you've had. So the divine is saying that it is time to start speaking your truth. It is time to start writing. It is time to start opening up that YouTube channel and sharing your experiences. Because you are an earth angel. Remember, you are the chosen one. And the chosen ones are always needed. In fact, what I'm hearing for you is to understand that being the chosen one right now, you are needed. Your voice is needed and it is time for you to step up, to take the mic, to start writing, to start sharing your wisdom and your knowledge. And the divine is saying to you that by doing this, you are going to be monetizing all the pain, the suffering and everything in between that you've experienced in life so far. And in sharing your truth, you're going to be seeing that you are going to be gaining you are going to be building an empire. Your resources, your wealth is going to start growing. And so the divine is saying, don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this energy that is here for you right now. This is the reading that I have for you. And if you need, again, my assistance, cutting cords from maybe toxic situations and toxic people, maybe you're wanting to light a candle and say a prayer, you can go in the description box below, you can purchase your candle, you can write your petition about what your prayer is all about. I will receive your petition and I will light a candle and say the prayers. You can go in the shorts where I've been sharing some of my work, some of my candle ceremonies that I've done in the past. So again, everything you're going to need to know is in the description box below. And this is the reading that I have for you. If you have found value in this reading, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It is a goodbye from me.